Uh, hello, I'm Carlos Hoyos. I'm here to tell you a little bit about uh, the most important idea in education I've come across. Um, when I started teaching, all that I knew about teaching was my own experience of being educated or being taught. Um, I had listened to a lot of lectures and my impression was that teaching was the same as education, same thing. And also that uh, teaching was all about transmitting knowledge. Yes, so the, the understanding of what teaching was is uh, uh, the teacher has the knowledge, they transmit the knowledge to the, to the pupils. I'm sitting on a lecture and being transmitted knowledge. With time I learned that it's not just knowledge, it's, it's knowledge, skills and attitudes same thing um, the idea is things get transmitted so the way uh, a lecture teaching education works is is very simple there is a lecturer who has the knowledge in their heads and they communicate this knowledge to the students who are listening so it's a transmission of knowledge is uh, very much like pouring water into a glass yes? so the, the the water is in the in the jug the, the jug is the teacher who has a lot of knowledge and he delivers transmits this knowledge into the empty glass which is the learner and this is the way um, education is understood. Uh, nobody explained this to me. This is something I, I learned by many years of going to lectures and being educated mainly through people teaching me. And this is also very much in the language of education. So we talk about uh, delivering the curriculum. We talk about giving a lecture and we talk about covering a subject you know these are words that are are following the metaphor of uh, learning as 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 being having knowledge poured onto you and teaching as pouring knowledge onto other people yes that's the assumption but my experience as a class uh, there to receive knowledge in lectures was very uh, variable yes so the first of all was that uh, my experience of many years of going to lectures is that uh, I don't listen to most of the things so there's I'm quite selective some bits uh, I interest me and I listen to and some bits just go over my head and also I'm quite leaky so uh, a lot of things that I've heard and listened actually I forget as soon as I walk out and I think that's the experience of most people yes uh, the other idea is that uh, whenever I listen to somebody giving me knowledge um, there is something in there that sometimes repels the knowledge out I'm never an empty glass you know so uh, there's always something there that sometimes doesn't agree Yes, um, and also uh, I realized that emotions are quite important. You know, sort of, it's, it's not just a cognitive process that knowledge comes in. If I'm angry, if I am irritated, if I don't like the guy talking, uh, things don't come in. And same way, if uh, somebody talking to me, somebody who inspires me, who I like, then things come in much quicker. So it's mediated by emotion. So I, th I started thinking an empty glass is not a very good metaphor. Um, and I came across this idea of uh, learners, not just as empty vessels, but actually m something more like seeds, you know, some, something more like something that is, has the potential in it and that if, if it absorbs water, it grows into something else. Yes? And that was the nugget of understanding education a little bit better. So the idea that um, a, 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 a seed is something that uh, needs water, and when it absorbs water, it grows into something much bigger. And it, it needs a lot of water in order to grow, but needs a little bit more than water. Yes, and uh, uh, and and then uh, looking at that, so the idea of knowledge as growth, something you put to use as opposed to something you accumulate, uh, kind of resonated with me. And I think the idea of thinking of students as seeds as opposed to as empty glasses has a lot going for it. I mean, to begin with, um, uh, n no, no glass is empty. And uh, you need to think of uh, uh, the people who are being educated as having a potential. So a seed is is a tree or a melon or whatever plant is is meant to be in potentiality and it has to grow into it yes as opposed to something which is there just to receive 
receive knowledge and never put it to use. Yes, and and the, the second idea is the idea that um, a, a glass is receive water, which a, 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 a seed absorbs it. You can you cannot inject water into a seed; it has to be absorbed. Yes, so the process of acquiring knowledge is not a passive thing that you just listen and learn. You, it has to be active. You have to incorporate the knowledge into who you are, like a seed. And the, the next one, which is a bit quite interesting, is that a glass is something that uh, a seat is something alive. Yes, and I think thinking of learners as people who, as uh, being who are alive is much more useful than just receipt of knowledge. You know, um, and and that's uh, that's where lectures are supposed to uh, n um, lessons in who are which are recorded uh, come come into uh, into being. You are interacted with something that's alive. You you're not just depositing knowledge like if you were writing a book. Also. Uh, a seed is fragile. If you don't look after a seed properly, it dies. It doesn't germinate, and that is quite um, resonates quite a bit with my experience of education. Uh, if if it's done wrongly, there are downsides. It's not that if it doesn't work, you just have an empty glass. It, it, education has the potential to damage. Learners are fragile, and I like the idea of seeing uh, uh, teaching as something that carries responsibility. And finally, is the idea that. Uh, uh, knowledge or water is only useful if it's used. Yes? So a glass receives the water, stores it. That's useless. Um, uh, a seed only absorbs the water that it can put to use. And by putting water to use, it grows into a massive tree. Yes. So the only useful knowledge is that, that the seed can put to use. And I like that idea as well. Okay, so um, so the, the 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 first idea, which is very important, is that to move away from thinking of knowledge and something that gets transmitted, into the idea that some it is something that grows. So knowledge grows in the person learning. Yes. The second idea you remember I said at the beginning is that uh, my understanding was that education was the same as teaching. And so if we take this garden and metaphor a step further, if 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 education is gardening, teaching is the equivalent of watering a plant. Yes, so watering a plant is part of gardening, but gardening is a much bigger activity. Yes, so the idea of being an educator as opposed to being a teacher or a lecturer. Yes, so a, a, a gardener, of course, needs to know how to water plants, how to teach, but an, an, a gardener, an educator, also needs to have a, a knowledge of all the different seeds and what to expect from each of them, and has to have a knowledge of um, the soil in which uh, plants uh, grow and which soil is adequate for uh, for which student. And watering is part part of uh, conditioning the soil, but the soil needs many other things. Um, so students need a lot more than knowledge in order to, to put the knowledge to use, yes, just like plants. Also, there are many other things that are just as important as knowledge, you know, the, the sun, you know, some plants need more sun, some don't. I, I equate that to being aware of the context of students. If, if you are not able to put the knowledge in context, it's useless, you know, so gardeners need to know about um, um, which, which plants requires how much sun and, and what, what can be tolerated and the relationship between sun and water and all, all of those things that's the same as an educator and also sometimes gardening goes wrong you know there are lots of pests that attack the plants and if you're not a uh, if, if you don't know about this you're not a very good gardener and it's the same with learning there are many reasons why people don't learn and as an educator you need to understand how that works so um, so it's much more than just watering yes and finally a gardener understands that each plant is different each plant requires different things and has skill to cover all the types of plants yes not just standard everybody the same yes and that's no different in in education yes so th so the second key idea was this idea that uh, uh, education is bigger than teaching yes so the first idea uh, if teaching is like watering um, we water pl water seeds, but we don't just pour water. Yes. Yeah? So when you are uh, in a lecture, uh, you don't 
uh, imagine your students to be passive recipients of your knowledge that you're just pouring onto them. It's much more useful to think of your students as a garden, each of them a different plant that you need to water differently. And that uh, the important thing there is not how much water you pour, but how much water each plant absorbs. Yes. And the second idea, again, uh, is that if teaching is watering, uh, education is gardening, and that you need to know a lot more more than just how to water plants. You need to know a lot more just how to give lectures or teach in order to be an educator. So these are the two ideas I wanted to teach you. This is, of all the things I've learned in 20 years as an educator, this metaphor, I think, is the single thing um, which is more important. Think of students as seeds, not as empty glasses.